If they ever discontinue this, it'll be the day that I die. So today I'm going to be doing an updated tattoo tour. Usually I do these yearly and I wasn't going to make one this year because I didn't get too many tattoos. But why not make another one? I'm a student right now, not working full time, paying to live. So I can't be getting that many tattoos, but I've been getting them while I can. Okay, so starting off with this arm because it's the first arm I started working on. It is all mostly, for the most part, traditional tattoos. I don't remember the exact order that I got them in, but I know my first one, so we'll start with that. This one right here is my first tattoo ever. It's just a skeleton on a beach in paradise. That was my idea at the time. I really like it. I feel like it caps off my shoulder really well, and I still really like the design. The yellow has fallen out quite a bit, but I'm not really interested in getting it touched up. Moving on, this also isn't really traditional. I have a little clown here. I got this because it by Stephen King is one of my favorite books of all time, and I wanted a tattoo to commemorate it, but Pennywise is ugly, so I didn't want to put him on my arm, so I just got this little clown. I was gonna get it colored in, but I like it the way it is, so I'm just gonna leave it. Then on the inside of my arm here, I I have a dragon. I really like this one. It fills up a lot of space. I love the colors. On the back of my arm here, I have a hand shaking a snake's head. This was a just like a flash piece that I got somewhere. Um, but then I asked for these words to be added down below. I got down by law. It's a mad ball song and it's one of my favorite songs of all time. And I just thought it fit in well with like the flash. So I got them together. As you can see, there's still a huge empty spot on my arm here, which I need to fill up because honestly, this one doesn't annoy me that much because I can't see it, but my ditch, oh my god, drives me crazy. And also here. Moving on to my elbow, I got the spider web tattoo. I love this one so much. Like, I really like how my web turned out, but I love my web. It was so painful. This was my most painful tattoo. It made me want to die. Moving on to the lower half of my arm. I guess we'll just start on the outside here. So first I have a little cherub because I love cherub imagery. They're just so cute. I love how they look. And I just wanted a little cherub on my arm because they're so adorable. Then on my wrist, I have a little set of cards. Um, I just wanted this because it looked cool. And also I like the concept of look, so I wanted cards. And I also need to fill this spot on my wrist because it also bothers me. On the inside of my arm here, I have a sacred heart. I'm in love with my sacred heart tattoo. I love sacred hearts. I think the imagery is so crazy. And I just look at sacred heart art a lot. So I love this one. And I also love how there's a little pink in here, if you can see. Then down below, I think these two mesh really well together too. I have a skull with flames burning out of its eyes. <laughs> all these tattoos here on my lower arm slash elbow were all done by the same person. So they look really nice and cohesive, which I like. Moving on to the last tattoo on this arm for now is also one of my favorites on my arm. I feel like I say that about all of them, but I love this one so much. The art is crazy on it and the colors are so nice and I love it. So I just have a long, huge Grim Reaper on my arm. This is so nice. It filled up the space in between my tattoos here so well. I love how it looks. I remember when I said I wanted a Grim Reaper here, the tattoo artist was like, uh, your arm is small, but he made it work and he drew it up and I love it. The blue in here too is super nice. Okay, that is it for this arm. I always say this every time I make a tattoo tour, but like, I really hope I can finish this arm soon because it's been going on for five years and I haven't finished it and like, it could be done with a few simple little tattoos. Like, I could get it done. Okay, moving on to this arm. Everything on this arm is done by the same artist and I love this arm so far. It looks pretty full even though there's like, look, the inside of my arm is empty pretty much in the back of my arms. It's just like the front that's kind of full. I guess we'll just start off near the top which is my latest tattoo on this arm which I don't know if I showed you guys yet. So this one over here is a Nana tattoo from the anime slash manga. Nana, it has been my favorite anime ever since I was a little kid. So I really wanted to get a Nana tattoo. The art wouldn't fit in with like my style of tattoos from the anime, so I opted for the flower that Nana has on her arm in a similar spot, which is really cool. I love this tattoo, and I love that it's also just like a flower, but I know what it means, and I love it so much. Moving on below, I have a Hanya mask. A lot of times in public, people ask me if this is a demon, and I'm like, 
So honestly, like I love this tattoo, but I don't love going out in public and getting asked about demons. I really like that she left this part like my skin color. I think the color is really pop and it looks really cool. But I just like the meaning of Hanya masks and I also love the imagery. Moving on to the lower half of my arm. I have no face from Spirited Away. I love No Face and I love Spirited Away. I've loved Studio Ghibli movies, Ghibli, I don't know know how you actually say it but i love them since i was a kid and i was like why not get a no face tattoo because this arm is all just like stuff that looks cool and i also just really love the art style this one is more things that i actually like but yes yeah, spirited away is one of my favorite studio ghibli movies and one of my favorite movies of all time so i was like let's get no face on my arm and i love him then moving on this is my most mentally ill tattoo that i've ever gotten in my entire life <laughs> like it's crazy and I don't regret it. It makes me giggle, but I also love it. It's on my wrist here, and I have my Melody, a Sanrio character. You know, a lot of people ask me about this because it's like right on my wrist, so a lot of people see it. And then I have to explain what it is. It always cracks people up, but I love it. Honestly, like, I love the blue behind my Melody here, and I just love Sanrio. Then moving on to my wrist, which is the only tattoo on the inside of my arm on this arm. I have a little lucky cat. I just love lucky cats. So <laughs> I wanted to get one. <laughs> That's literally my only reasoning behind it, but I just love lucky cats. Okay, moving on to my leg. I guess I'll start off with a Jesus tattoo on my leg. I don't know if I'm really gonna get up. I'll just show you over here. I love Jesus. I also just really like religious imagery. This was um, a flash that some artists drew and I love it. I think it looks great. Okay, moving on. My boyfriend's friend is apprenticing right now. So I was like, let me get some tattoos that I can actually afford because I haven't been able to get tattoos in forever. And the art is crazy. Like it does not look like apprenticeship tattoos. So the first one that I got was part of Halloween flash. I just got a little moon. It's super cute. I love it. But yeah, like, there was no reason to get it besides that it was Halloween flash and I wanted something. Moving on to the last tattoo I got, I got a three of swords and I love this tattoo so much. I didn't get this because I'm super into tarot. I'm trying to learn about tarot and I did just buy tarot cards like two months ago, but I just really liked the imagery of the three of swords so that's why i got it also i don't know if it's because i'm getting older but i swear each the tattoos on my legs hurt so bad but anyway that's all my tattoos for now hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and next year maybe i'll make another one of these and maybe i'll be rich and i'll have a billion more tattoos have fun with that babe um but yeah i love you all and goodbye <laughs>